God bless you, Elder V here. Fear, trouble, heartache, pain, despair. We're concerned about our lives. We're concerned about our children. We're concerned about our churches. We're concerned about our jobs. We're concerned about our homes. We are just concerned people. But Jesus says this here. He says in Matthew 6, 34, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Why would Jesus say something like that? Why would Jesus tell us don't be concerned about tomorrow? Why would Jesus tell us to not be concerned about our lives? Why would he say that? Go up to the 19th verse. He says, Do not store up yourselves treasures on this earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Earthly possessions cause a lot of stress because you have to protect them, you have to work hard for them, you got to try to maintain them. If you get a new vehicle, you got to keep it maintenance. And maintenance, these modern vehicles, is quite expensive. To get a nice home, you have to heat and cool it. Children, you have to take care of them. Wives, you have to clothe them. Nice churches, you have to have the membership to maintain them. A good job, you have to make sure you get there and you have to deal with everything that comes with it. Earthly possessions can cause a lot of stress. This is why he said, do not store up your treasures on this earth. But store up your treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where these do not break in and steal. Have you ever noticed a person who has peace with God, who I is on God? How they are at peace. How nothing seems to get them down. How they seem to constantly have a smile on their face. How they seem to endure hardship. Because they know that this earth is not theirs, but heaven is. They are storing their treasures in heaven. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The reason why a person may have joy in the midst of sorrow is because their heart is in the heavenlies. We know that on this planet, you will win and you will lose. Things get destroyed. Loved ones pass. Jobs are lost. These things just happen on this planet. But the question is, where is our heart? Is our heart on this planet and its possessions? Or is our heart in the heavenly realms? Do our heart belong to the Lord? Are we concerned about the things of God? The eyes is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, the whole body will be filled with light. The eyes is the lamps of the body. What we see comes in. So what are we putting our eyes on? Is our eyes on the earth and its possessions and wealth, prosperity? Is that our goal? Is that what we're looking forward to? Or are we looking forward to the coming of God? Or are we looking for the things of God? Now, if you're looking for the things of God, you're body is filled with light but if you are looking toward earthly things your body is filled with darkness but if your eyes are unhealthy the whole body is filled with darkness if then the light within you is darkness how great is that darkness if your eyes are focused on earthly things darkness is in you this is why we see so much crime and utter destruction in this country and in this city and even in the church because our eyes are on the things of the earth no man can serve two masters who is your master either you will hate one and love the other there's no in between with god god wants you and only you would you want your husband or wife having a side chick or a side dude no, you only can serve one master or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Not to say you can't have a job. God will provide you with a job. 
But if your sole purpose on this planet is to get rich and die trying, that money is your God. But if your purpose is to serve God, then your heart is in the right place. Therefore, I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you shall eat or drink, or for your body, what you shall wear. Is life more than food and the body more than clothes? Now, if I'm serving money, I need to worry about my life. But if I'm not serving money and I'm serving God, then there's no need for me to worry about my life. Only to those who are serving and living for God. If you're not living for God, you better worry about your life. But since I am serving God, therefore, I tell you, don't worry about your life. Don't worry about food and clothing I will provide. Because you know that life is more than food. You know that your body is used more than just fresh clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They do not sow or reap or store in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you much more viable than they? Consider the birds. They're not working. They don't have mortgages. Yet God takes care of them. Aren't we more viable than they are? If we're created in the image and likeness of God, don't you think that he'll take care of us? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field they do not labor or spin people are really fascinated with clothing name brands big hats fancy suits gator boots why worry about that have you seen flowers bloom they look better than any first lady bishop i know and yet the roses the tulips all flowers they don't clothe themselves yet i tell you even Solomon, all his splendor, was not dressed like these. Solomon. But we don't have money like Solomon. And the flowers were dressed better than Solomon. If that is how God dresses the grass in the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown in the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith. I cut my grass. I water my grass. I fertilize my grass. And when the season is right, that grass is beautiful. And God takes care of me better than I take care of my grass. So don't worry saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Don't worry about it. God got this. If your heart is with God, he got you. But if your heart is on this earth, then you need to worry. Why? Because the pagans ran after all these things, and your heavenly father knows that you need of them. Pagans, unbelievers, people whose heart is on this earth, chase after those things. Are you chasing after money, trucks, homes big churches where is your heart but seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you seek see put your eyes on things of his kingdom and do those things first don't chase after earthly possessions seek god first not only his kingdom but his righteousness his laws regulations things that are right those are the things you should think on things that are pleasant things of good report all things that are righteous seek after those things is kingdom righteousness and if you do that everything you desire will be given to you interesting if your heart is with God you won't desire all these things why because you know they are stressful. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry for itself. Each day has enough troubles of its own. We don't even know if we're gonna be here tomorrow, so why worry about it? In most cases, what you thought was gonna happen, probably won't. Trust me, 
tomorrow's going to have its own issues. Something always happening crazy in this country and in this city. So to close it out, my brothers and sisters, don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry for itself. Where is your heart? If your heart is with God, you don't have to worry about this life. But if your heart is not with God, you need to worry about tomorrow. But since my heart is with God, I don't have to worry. God got it under control. This has been Elder V. Charleston. I want to say peace and shalom. Don't worry about tomorrow.